app development using plasmo plasmo app provides codes which makes easy to use visual programming interface even those who don't have much knowledge about programming can easily do coding with the help of plasmo apps using these makers of all ages can unleash their creativity by trying trying out experiments developing games and even creating their own apps various tutorials are available that helps in understanding and exploring various features of plasmo you can use the simulator feature to create experiments anywhere and at any time using virtual element you can write the code for your project and can check if the logic is working using app design feature to create an application that controls the plasmo elements using plasmo we can design app games science project or prototype your very own unique app You can download this software through this link. Now let's see how do we create a Plasmo ID. First, you'll go on atl.gov.in. Then you will select ATL App Development Module. In Plasmo website, you have to click Login or Register. then you will select create a new account where you will have to write the necessary details like your email address password confirm it nickname for your account first name last name your mobile number pin code your age school or college name enter your school atl id and then you have to select i accept the terms of use then click on create then you will receive a verification email on the email id which you have provided them you will have to verify your email id then you can start using a plasmo id by logging in in the plasmo website using the plasmo software online or use the desktop plasmo software now let's get starting by creating a first project first you will have to do show app design personalize app element to change the background color click on background color you can select whatever color you like i will select light purple click on done you can select a pattern as well like i am selecting as empty octagons if the pattern is coming very light you can choose a darker background color like i will choose dark purple as it was not coming very nice you can even add a image if you want there are many options click on save then you have your first app screen then you'll click on add app element where menu will pop up then you have to select button i will name it as button underscore one click on okay then you can write whatever text you want increase it height or decrease it according to your convenience change its width like i am changing it to 200 you can change the z index as well now let me explain what it is when you need to overlap your button or your label we don't need to overlap so we'll not use it change the style pattern like i will change it to type 2 align text font family there are two four family option 
you can change you can use any one with you want font size the background color of the button can also be selected like i am selecting as light orange border color as well i am selecting as black you can even change the font color whatever you like you can even put a but you can even put an image in the button here is your button one then if you want more you will click on add up element tick label label is when we need to convey some information to our user and button if we need to navigate to somewhere you can name it like we do like we did for the button change its height or width according to your convenience style pattern whichever you like font family font size background color you can take any background color from the given options there are many options border color same like the background color you have the same options so this is your label one now let's click add app element once more text box when we need to collect some information from a user it is used when we need to display the user's name or we need some information from the user for a quiz or something like that you can't write any text because the user would be writing the text you can just change its color this is your text box in add app element there are many options like slider then you have canvas which are the different app screens so i click on it you can change the background color as we changed for our first camera canvas which is our first app screen you can also put a pattern in it so this was our first app screen second app screen you can even now let's see how do we put a image you can click image write its image name height width then you can change its pattern background color insert image in it you can even choose your own image or the image provided by plasmo